What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brandy and today's video is the kickoff to all of my fall videos. You're gonna see some fall home decor, some more fall home decor, hauls, today's gonna be a haul, um, fashion, you name it, lipstick. I've, I've been going with a darker lip lately. All the fall wintry things, this is the kickoff. So look out for all of those videos in the future. So if you wanna make sure that you're alerted, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell so you never miss an upload from me. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel, lets me know that you guys are enjoying these videos and you want more of them. And leave me a comment letting me know maybe what your favorite item is that I got, what you're doing for the fall, maybe some special little tips that you can give me to maybe incorporate in my own home. So. Without further ado, let's get into today's fall decor haul. So the first thing I did was I got up and I went to Starbucks and I got that pumpkin cold foam cold brew drink and it was really good. I am going to perfect it at home. Make sure you go follow me on Instagram because I share tons of recipes over there and I am going to perfect this pumpkin drink and I will link it over there. You guys are gonna see a lot of different things in this video, not just decor, but one thing I did get was this pumpkin pie spice from Trader Joe's so that I can try to perfect that coffee, I'll let you know. But the first place that I went to was Home Goods, and I have to say, lately I just have not been having the best luck at Home Goods. It's very picked over lately. I, I just am not finding much at all. So I was in and out of home goods. I did see like a pompous grass wreath, but it was really flat and just kind of cheaply made. So I left it behind. It was only $20, but I thought, you know what? I don't need it. I left that behind. I was gonna get some fake pumpkins there, but I actually really wanted to do real pumpkins this year for two reasons. One was that I really think it elevates your home when you have the real thing. So I got this little guy for my kitchen and you don't even have to buy like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. You can just get a couple and add them to your house. It's kind of the same, like, same idea as having fresh flowers is having like the fresh real deal in your home. So when you have like fake flowers, you can kind of tell, but when you get real fresh flowers in your home, it just really, elevates your home in my opinion and it really makes it just so beautiful and really gives that vibe same with dried flowers dried stuff like i feel like dried is even better than fake in my opinion sometimes there's some good fake greenery i'll give you guys that but i wanted to do fake or excuse me i wanted to do real because i wanted to be able to toss them once the year was over or you know, whatever, that way I don't have to store them because Zach and I are in a small apartment and we don't have any more room for storing anything. So I also got this, I think they're called heirloom or fantasy pumpkin. I got this from Trader Joe's. It's really heavy. And I put the big one on my bookshelf and then the small one in my kitchen. So I've been loving that. And then, um, let's see, where else did I go? So I went to Trader Joe's, I got those. I'm actually gonna show you guys the food items so that I could put them away because one of the items is this pumpkin ice cream. And if you guys haven't tried this, it's actually one of Zach's favorite. He ate the whole container last week of this pumpkin ice cream. It is so creamy and so good. And honestly, you could probably put a, a dollop of this in your coffee and then you have that cold brew, if you know what I mean. We got so much stuff. I went yesterday and bought these and we ate all but two. So these are the pumpkin blondie brownies. They're very cakey and I do really like them. Are they amazing? Mm but they are really, really, really good and I would get them again. And the next thing that we got was this organic maple butter. And we thought, you know, we'll use this for pancakes, for bacon. I'm really, really excited to try this. I got these, you guys, these are my favorite. They are so good. They are these pumpkin spice pretzel slims. Oh my gosh. Just go get these, just go get them. Just, you just have to go get them. You, they're just so good. Then I got these pumpkin flavored Jojo's. They have two kinds. They have like the jack o lantern ones and then they have these ones. These are the actual pumpkin flavor. The other ones just look like pumpkins. So love these. We already went through one pack of these. I know it's bad. 
And then Zach brought home these pumpkin bagels. We've already had a ton of them. And then this pumpkin uh, cream cheese spread, super, super yummy. And then I picked up, I actually went to Fry's for these, but I picked up whole walnuts. And this is kind of the, what I'm talking about. So for me this year, I just want like elevated decor. And in my mind and in my eyes, elevated is having kind of more of those real items. So whole nuts, real pumpkins. I'm gonna be doing a fall like floral arrangement, one of my next videos. So make sure you turn on that bell so you don't miss that video. But I got these and I've just put these in a little tray that I have that I actually just recently got as well. And I think those are all of the food items that I got. And then the next place that I went to was a local boutique because I wasn't finding anything at Home Goods. I went to Target and I did like a lot of their blankets, but we have a lot of throw blankets. I have like a really soft um, throw blanket from Pottery Barn that I already had and I just didn't need to buy any more, but I will insert some clips from the ones that I found at Target. I was this close to getting the Teddy one from the Studio McGee line. That was the one that spoke to me the most because I have seen it over at Pottery Barn and it is so cute. I really, really like it. But again, I just don't have a lot of space and I have to be really, really, really strategic with what I purchase. I may go back and get it, I'm not sure. But I did see that and I saw a lot of knit and kind of flannel blankets or plaid, you know, whatever you wanna call it. There was so many good blankets at Target and Pottery Barn. I also stopped in at Pottery Barn just to kind of see what they had. I ended up getting a home decor item, but it's not fall, so I'll put that in a home decor haul. But I just wanted to see what they were doing as far as like the decor. So that's one tip that I have is stop in at your local like high end shops that you have near you and kind of see what designers are doing for decor and get an idea. So I wanted to stop in and see what they were doing. I didn't get anything. I almost got these like white little le like leaves. They were faux. I will insert them. And I really, really loved those, but I wanted to kind of come home and see what I had going on. I don't want it to look like fall just threw up in our house. I really want to be strategic, like I said, and simple. Sometimes less is more in my opinion. So when I was at that local boutique, I picked up some pompous grass. Now, if you guys watched my how to find your style video, you know that I was hating on pompous grass but I don't hate it for the fall. I really think it warms up a space. It gives that fall feeling. I really like it. Mine's a little hmm, so I do need to put it out in the sun or get it fluffed up somehow. So if you have any tips, leave them below. I've heard blow dryer. I've heard let it out in the sun. It's been outside all day and it still looks like this. So it looks like a little like breadsticks or like baguettes. <laughs> so. I do really like it. I was gonna originally put it up on our bar shelf. If you haven't seen that video, go watch my bar shelf styling video. It's a really good one. It's just too tall and the um, pot that I have for it is just a little too big for it. These are too small. So it just didn't go. The scale was so off. So I did do something else. I'll show you guys what I did. You guys are getting a sneak peek at a piece that I just got that's gonna go in a future home decor haul. So you will see this again in the future. But I wanted to show you because this is what I ended up going with. I just went outside and picked some sticks, some dead sticks that we have right outside. And I actually sprayed them with some Bath and Body Works room spray just to kind of make them smell a little bit better. And I like this a lot more because I had, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I had these in here and the scale is just way too off. It just, it didn't work. So, and those are so messy. Um, but I did go get some sticks and I really like this. I like that look where, I don't know, to me even having dead sticks in a pot is a lot nicer than having just fake leaves in my own opinion. Um, but I also wanted to show you guys in this pot that you guys have seen me share a million times, I put some bunny tail. Now I've seen this at Fry's or Kroger, um, Trader Joe's. I got mine at Trader Joe's last year. 
and I've seen them on Etsy. I will link some down below. You guys also saw me share these ones in my bedside table styling video. I love these. These ones are white or bleached and I'm gonna do something with these as well. I just have to figure it out. <laughs> and then like I said, I got real pumpkins. I got a small one for the kitchen and then I got a big one for my bookshelf. So I got those and then I got a couple of candles. Now, when it comes to fall, I think for me, the biggest thing is scent. Walking into our house and it smelling like fall takes me to fall more than even seeing like fall decor items in my house. I will give you guys a fall decor haul as soon as I have everything all done. So I do wanna get a couple more things. I need to get some hand soaps and a couple more candles, things like that. But so far I did get the pumpkin clove from Anthropology. it was on sale. And I like this one, I like to mix this one with sweet candles cause it's more like pumpkin clove kind of, it, it really is pumpkin clove, a little more clove than pumpkin. And I like to mix them with sweet candles. I, so I got the pumpkin pecan waffle or however you say, I say pecan, so however you say, um, pecans, right? Anyway, this one's really, really sweet. It's Zach's favorite, that's why I got it. But if I mix it with, like if I burn them at the same time, it really does kind of tone down the sweet, like overpowering too sweet, and it does, it's, it's really nice. So I got that one, and then I also got the Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. Now, Marshmallow Fireside is my all-time favorite candle from Bath & Body Works. And they did have it, but I, I want the big ones and I want them to be on sale. These ones were two for 20. And I feel like it's kind of expensive for these little things. So this one, it reminds me a lot of Marshmallow Fireside, but a, like just a little more pumpkin in it and vanilla. So I got those. I am gonna go back and get the pumpkin bonfire and the Marshmallow Fireside in the big ones when they go on sale because I really liked those. And then the last item that I have to share with you guys is this little, it's my only spooky thing that I got and it's this hand. And it's just a little skeleton hand. I got this at Michael's and I saw it and I just was like, that would be so cute. You guys have seen these books a million times on a stack of books and I love it. I think it's so, so, so cute. It just adds one little piece of spooky. I don't like to overdo it. I think simple is so good. Sometimes it's just, it really is less is more. Like I said, I'm not done, but I, I mean, I'm pretty close. I want to get a couple more things and I will, like I said, update you guys. If I buy enough, I'll do another haul or put them in a video somehow, some way and share everything with you guys this fall. I wanna do some recipes. Like I said, if you really want recipes, things like that, Zach and I share everything over on Instagram. So head over there, go check it out. I will let you guys know all the things. And as of now, that is all I have going on. I'll give you guys little sneak peeks on how I am styling these things in this video, along with showing you guys a little bit of shopping behind the scenes or shop with me footage that I got. And that's it, that's all I have so far for this season. Like I said, not done, but we're off to a good start. So I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye guys.